Coach, tough loss today. Um, a pitching duel to start uh, until Gonzaga opened up late in the game. Um, what are some thoughts after today? I thought Lance was awesome today. Santier um, gave us everything he had, kept putting zeros up to one nothing game pretty much the majority of the game. Uh, he was out there fighting, you know, and defensively for the first six or seven innings, we were making every play and doing what we needed to do. He even pitched around a, um, one mistake on that ball in the first inning that Lance actually threw away and we got ourselves out of it. So uh, we were right there, you know, we just, again, got to get things done in the batter's box. We'll keep trying, we'll keep scuffling, but they're, uh, they got good pitching. So when good pit- pitching matches uh, your lineup, it's hard, but you got to stay in the fight as long as you can. Yeah, you mentioned the team was in the game pretty much the entire game until, you know, the seventh and the ninth innings where they, you know, Gonzaga opened it up there. Uh, what changed um, in, in the game to allow them to, you know, get going? Yeah, Lance came out. <laughs> so after Lance, it got a little different. Uh, put Scoot in there and McConnell, and uh, they broke through on him a little, and then we kind of just fell apart, um, you know, defensively and on the mound. And it's kind of the, the air came out of the balloon a little, and you could see it, and that's kind of the most frustrating part as a coach is you just hope you can continue to fight no matter what the scoreboard says. But, um, yeah, I, maybe we should have pushed him longer, but I thought he gave us everything he, we had, Lance, and we were right there. We, we were confident in the guys we brought in. We just didn't get it done today on the back end. Uh, you mentioned Lance. Th- what things did he do well today? Yeah, he's, he's very veteran uh, on the mound for us. He's served a lot of different roles, but ever since he solidified himself as the Saturday starter, basically, he's, that's what he's done. He keeps really good hitters off balance. It's hard to get a really your A swing off against him. Uh, so, he, you know, he, that's... Really, what you ask your pitchers to do, if they can't get their best swings off, keep them off balance, yeah, you, they might roll some ground balls through and things like that, but you don't see too much hard contact, and he, he really bears down in tough situations, which uh, was like the top of the first today. That could have been an easy spot to be down a few runs right away, and then um, tough pitchers find a way to get those tough outs. you got a line drive double play. Things like that happen when you're really in there fighting, and that's really what he does best is fights. Offensively, um, the hits weren't there, but you guys did get on base. You know, you left 10 guys on. A um, couple instances where you had two on with no outs. Um, what needs to get done in order to get those runs across? We need to move runners along, and the ball needs to be put in play or bunted or all the things we try to work on as much as possible, and clearly not enough. But um, sitting back waiting for that big blast hasn't happened for us. So um, it'll come it, it eventually, but they usually come by executing little things before they happen, and that's usually how big innings start. So um, don't have all the answers there, but you just keep fighting and you just keep trying to put hard balls in play, and they got to find the hole eventually. One more game against Gonzaga tomorrow um, to close out the series. What needs to get done in order to, to sneak out a win there? Uh, yeah, we just show up, keep fighting. I mean, it's gut check time for the guys. I mean, you just can't worry about outside circumstances. Saturday should never affect Sunday and vice versa. So you just show up, ready to fight, keep fighting. And uh, we usually get a well-pitched game, and hopefully we'll crack through early in the game and make them play from behind.